Thank you, Margie. It's a nationally recognized artist collective known to collect stories, reframe, and retell them through art, writing, and performance to promote understanding and civic pride to prevent youth violence. Joining us to share more about the what's new with the St. Louis Stitchers is Brandon Lewis and Will Sillo James. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good we appreciate you guys being here. Real quick, as we get started, who are the St. Louis Stitchers? So uh, the St. Louis Story Stitchers is a nationally recognized artist collective known for innovative violence prevention methods, uh, uh, such as singing, dancing, rapping, poetry, pretty much uh, different art forms. Uh, we teach you how to express themselves uh, in a way that's healthy, uh, and we serve youth in between the ages of 16 and 25. What do you do specifically to help our youth and promote the movement? So, uh, especially uh, in St. Louis, so we're an arts organization. Mm -hmm. uh, St. Louis is a very artistic city. For sure. And uh, so, one of the things that we do is we give youth a way to get paid for practice in their art. So we pay youth to perform we, uh, whenever we write music and that music gets uh, published. Uh, we pay them for writing the music. So it provides paid opportunities. It gives you different job skills, provides different performance opportunities or whatnot. Thanks to St. Louis Story Stitches, I've performed over 500 times and I wouldn't be able to say that without Story Stitches. Man, that's fantastic, and it keeps kids off the streets and Absolutely. away from violence, which is Absolutely. most important. We got a big play coming up, and you're responsible for this. Silo, so, tell us about so. that, please. Um, I'm actually directing the play. It's a, um, it's bridging the two worlds between um, the older living and the newer world that we have today. Mm -hmm. um, the play is actually um, this Thursday and Friday at 7 p.m. at the Zach Theater. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be awesome. A lot of these young people came together and they're doing something great to empower and uplift um, the youth in the community. And it's called Why of My City. Yes. Right? How'd you guys come up with that name? Um, Brandon, take so, so the Why of My City became a uh, project that started in 2021. Uh, we were just thinking about the city and, and why it exists and why it's special to us, why St. Louis isn't just a, or why St. Louis is so nationally known, why it isn't just, uh, you know, a small town, no disrespect to small towns, but why it isn't a town that you've never heard of before. And so we just dive into why St. Louis makes us special. So uh, for example, with the play, uh, you might've saw the hyphen fairground on the screen. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's because uh, in where fairground is, there was, that was a space where, uh, that was uh, where uh, during the civil war, Though those were barracks, mm, and ben uh, barracks, so, yes, been barracks, and so uh, black soldiers stayed there. Uh, and after fighting in the war, a lot of those black soldiers would later go to uh, help erect uh, Lincoln University. And so uh, the play is a historical fiction that uh, it, that uh, kind of interlocks our story with building the center with their story of building Lincoln University. When uh, you were producing this play, what was it like uh, working with the younger people who are wanting to do something positive and express their artistic ability? It's, um, it's, uh, it's very fun. They're very energetic. Um, it's an exciting place to be. Um, we put everything into one. So we have the podcast aspect, um, the performance aspect. We have poetry um, and also just hosting and entertainment with also dance as well. Something for all the artists of all ages. What ages do you guys serve specifically? Uh, we serve uh, ages 16 to 25, mm -hmm. and we are always looking for youth. It's completely free to sign up. It's completely free to register. And as a matter of fact, the only money that gets transferred is us paying the youth <laughs> for certain things that they participate in. So we're always looking for youth. So if there are artistic youth or even youth that want to learn how to uh, do organizational work, you know what I'm saying, want to learn how to set up shows, break down shows, or how certain organizations work out, uh, we'd love to have them. That gives them a chance to have some purpose. You may not actually want to be an artist, but you might be interested in the breakdown of it or the setup or just exactly. being involved, mm -hmm. doing something positive. Real quick, what uh, remind us again when the when the play is happening so our folks can get out there and check it, it out. It is this Thursday and Friday, which is the 18th and 19th at the Zach Theater. Mm -hmm. Zach Theater, 3224 Locust. Make sure you check it out. And where can people go for more information if they want to get involved with you guys? Uh, they can go to storystitches.org. Uh, uh, we do podcasts, and if they want to learn how to podcast, if they want to know when the next time we're going to be performing. Uh, and also, uh, tickets for the play are on sale at Metro Tickets. Gentlemen, thank you for being here, and thank you for the work you guys do for the people in the community. We're going to have this full interview posted on our website, foxynow.com, so we get the, more word out, the word out more for our viewers. And this is great. Well done, guys. We appreciate thank you, you thank you, thank you. In. in the meantime, 820, let's see how those roadways are looking with Calypso.